Hello guys and welcome. We're gonna to talk today about Red Wing Heritage Line. I have a few, uh, a few comments to do. And why do I think these are the, the basic premium? Why basic? Well, let's start. I wanna talk first about the letters. Let me introduce the letters and the model numbers. Then I wanna talk a, a, a little bit about each one. This is the, the Mokto A77, eight inch tall, wedge sole. You have all eyelets, uh, type of leather, oil. All of these are oil. This, oil. this is the Oro Legacy. Let me show it to you for those ones who want to know about this leather, how it looks, here you are. Here we have the copper. This is the 80, 85. Iron Ranger, copper. This is the copper with a lot of patina. This was my first, first boot the, the, that I acquired in the premium quality. Amazing, American Iron Ranger. Iron Ranger 2, amber. I think this is one of the most iconic Iron Rangers, the copper and the amber. There you go. And this one is uh, one that I use a lot in landscaping here in my house and in our houses too. This is the um, 8165. I got this one from Sierra.com, factory seconds. I don't care, black, Chrome XL. This is an amazing boot because it had the wedge, 360 stitching, black Chrome XL. Yeah, water don't get inside very easy. So this boot that I've been abusing a lot of times and man, it holds like a champion. There you go. We have, what is that? We have grass right there. Well, why basic premium? This is the basic because it's not customization. You, you, you can't customize with Red Wings unless you buy the boot, send it to a cobbler and modify. Well, Red Wings are gonna sell you just the boot with one type of sole, one type of eyelets, combination eyelet speed hooks, or in the case, all eyelets, like the A77. And you have a very good insole, uh, insole leather that is very comfortable. You have very good quality of leather, premium leather, um, oil leather by, by Red Wing. They, they have their own tannery. And it's uh, the most basic premium that you can get. On the basis of $300, 350 between 300 and 400 even if you buy factory second for Sierra.com or North, North Truck or something like that, you can buy them by between 180 200 250 a pair new of Red Wings Heritage Line. And this is, this is an amazing boot. It's versatile, it's super, I think this is the most versatile boot out there. It's not the best for hiking, it's not the best for work, it's not the, very, it's not the best for outdoors or indoors. But definitely, man, it's not the worst. It's not the worst for work, neither hiking, neither indoors, outdoors, it's not the worst. There, out there are a lot of boots on, the, on, on, on those ranges that are not versatile as Red Wings. This boot, I use a lot of water when there's a lot of mud. Same like my other landscaping, just uh, eight inches so I can put my jeans inside. Um, because this pattern is overlap, you can see the upper is overlap to the bottom so the water don't get inside. And the wedge helps a lot when there's a lot of raining, so the water don't get inside on the from inside to the to the insole, right? The weld is 360 helps a lot. You can apply some something here so to isolate wax or anything. I leave it like that. I don't mind. We don't have that many rain here in South Texas. Actually, this past month, 105, 110 plus. 
because of the pavement and asphalt is so hot it transfers a lot of the heat from the ground to your metal the wedge is a very good solve for that you you will feel heat inside but not as much as the mini log this mini log of sole is very nice it's very uh, comfortable for it's very flexible on the band just check this I my, my knees or why they can do that man this flexibility it's no way red wings make a very flexible leather it's a very supply with oils and already came very very flexible very very flexible appliable sorry but the mini lock is gonna transfer the heat right away so it's not the best for environments where a lot of heat i can think with a lot of ice or a lot of cold too i can imagine that because the the the, the leather insole is is thick but it's not as thick as some the pmw for work for example these ones are not so elegant or dedicated for inside work like maybe some Aldens or another type of brands that are dedicated more for office but you can use in office too you can use uh, these ones on the indoors outdoors these are not the best or not the worst so it's a very versatile boot this is something that i love about the heritage line from from red wings that these guys make a very neutral boot that can be used in a lot of lot of scenarios this is why i call red wing the basic premium if you want to spend a bit more well it's and sometimes not just a bit this is 350 dollars something around if you spend 200 more 550 on a pair of nicks and a pair of whites franks jk's you will have a tougher boot how long will last that depends on you honestly how good maintenance do you get to your boots if you're the type of guy that doesn't maintenance you don't treat you don't clean your boots often forget it doesn't matter you can have metal boots you're going to destroy them this pair is an example i use this one almost two three years straight i didn't have a repair and look there's not excuse to to keep a good looking boot a good maintenance oil cream and this will last by the way i got this one resold by tony wyatt from pro cobblers amazing work just look the channel i love this thing when you do the channeling so so you can why this is cosmetics obviously it doesn't does nothing on the performance but i like how it looks and the way he he made the heel is a very very nice touch Thank you, Tony. Really appreciate it, compadre. And I can tell you guys, Red Wing is a very nice one. If you are, you have a tight budget, you don't want to spend too much. You are indoor, you are in the office, or you are, or you are outside. Take some A77, man. The only problem with this boot is the hill counter. The hill counter, guys. This is the only problem. It's very flexible. It, it doesn't give you support same with the iron ranger same with all of these boots look it doesn't have a lot of heel support it affects uh, depending what you're doing if you're standing all day probably it's not the best and when i'm saying all days you're outside standing eight hours it will not help you if you can sit a little bit rest or you're on the trays making therapy calls man this is a very good boot for that it's very, very flexible the ins the the shaft move the instep is very nice you have a lot of space if you need to kneel man this is a very very nice pair this is why it's, it's the most iconic for redwood well guys thank you i'm gonna make a video in the next one about pull-ons sometimes i have to change behold i have different ideas I improvise a lot, so thank you for following me, guys. Uh, thumbs up if you want, subscribe if you want. If you don't and you don't like what I'm saying, send me an email, guys. 
check my Instagram account, many three Bree. You will love what I my pictures and questions, comments. Do it. Don't be shy. Send it to me. Post it. You don't know how to talk. Post them. I, I don't care. I want to hear you guys. Well, thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.